Crank it up, watch it rise, load in the ammo, thing. and it's off. This is the trebuchet that Clarence High School's engineering club built, and it's pretty impressive. It seems simple, but a lot of work has gone into its design over the past year. We found a design that we really liked, and then we kind of started making prototypes. We started with the quarter scale model, which led to the half scale model, um, from which we based this larger scale off of. Anthony is president of the club and took on a lot of the responsibility of designing the catapult that will compete in the 12th annual trebuchet contest at the Great Pumpkin Farm in Clarence. I'm excited to see, or hopefully see, all our work pay off, um, but I'm nervous to see how it actually unfolds and how the trebuchet actually handles. And the outcome will probably be pretty good. Along with numerous practice runs with the engineering club, Anthony has gone over the design with his teachers, perfecting every square inch. They're all attacking the different problems that have to be involved. There's a lot of math with it, there's a lot of science with it, and they're doing all the calculations, plus they're figuring out all the problems, and there's a lot of them. It's an activity that allows a little bit of fun to be incorporated into the classrooms that sometimes aren't the best. Maroney hopes that this will inspire a lot of the students involved to go into engineering. Um, out of the 50, most of them are going to be going into engineering. When we did this as a class project, I broke it up into the mechanical side, the architectural side, the civil side. Ten schools, including Clarence High School, will be competing in the contest held Sunday. There are lots of different areas of the competition, ensuring many winners. Each will be awarded money to put towards their club. In Clarence, Kaylee Went, News 4.